Hi everyone, my name is Marcus and you're watching the Reef Nerd YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you a cool little gadget that can help you take your target feeding game up to the next level. So I was at my local fish store, that's Reef Galleria in South Melbourne, and I saw the guys there using this really cool gadget to target feed uh, a lionfish that they had in there. And then following that, they used the same tool to target feed a bunch of LPS throughout all their other tanks, some of which are quite deep tanks and have really strong flow. So I had to get a closer look at this tool. I asked if I could borrow one. And yeah, I really wanted to show you because I've never really seen something quite as flexible as this. So what I have to show you here is the Sea Feeder by Pure Aquatic. Now at first glance, this might just look like a really long turkey baster. And you know, it, it kind of is, but it's got some really cool features that make it really great and fit for purpose for the marine hobby. So the first, and by far the coolest, is check this out. Eh, 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 eh. This thing is extendable. And at full length, it is about just under 900 centimeters long. So just under a meter. So if you, if you have a tank that's probably up to just below a meter in depth, this will let you target feed things right to the bottom. You'll also notice that it's quite wobbly and in, in fact is quite flexible. And that's because this is not made out of glass. It's made out of some kind of plastic and it's designed to be really flexible, which means no chance of it easily shattering uh, or um, being accidentally chipped or broken. It's gonna be much more resilient to that. It has a cool little rubber seal in it. Oh, hello, do you wanna be in the video as well? It has a cool little rubber seal in it, which I don't know if you can see that on camera. It makes it hold its position wherever you put it. So if you want it only that long or you want it this long, It'll hold wherever you put it. And along the length of the tube are um, marking indicators in mil. So this inner tube here, which I've now got fully extended, is holds up to 18 mil of fluid. Now on the end here, on the tip, it's also got this cool little skewer feature. It's like a plastic toothpick. This is designed to help you target feed predators like sharks and lionfish and other really picky eaters uh, that need like large meaty food. So you could put say on the end of this a piece of prawn or something like that Skewer it onto the end of this plastic bit Extend it right out and feed your predator tank from a distance quite safely and because of the plastic nature There's no chance that the fish is going to accidentally skewer themselves on something sharp or metal or worse break a glass Implement and have broken glass all throughout the tank yeah, it's very interesting, isn't it, Nemo? Yes. Now the end of it here, like any other turkey baster, is a soft, squishy suction cup. But it's really well calibrated from my testing. So you'll see, I squeeze out all the air out of the, uh, the plunger part of it at the top and suck in liquid. What I found is it's really easy to draw quite a large amount of liquid into this. Way more than just the 18 mil that the inner tube holds, because once you draw in more than 18 mil, as you can see here, I've just reached the 18 mil line, but I can still draw in more. It begins filling the larger full tube at the top here. So if I do a really big draw in, you can see I'm, I've almost half filled this, uh, this, this larger tube now. So it's really easy to use. And you're able to draw more than the 18 mil of the inner tube because the outer tube acts as an additional reservoir. Now what you'll also see here, as I draw up some water, because this uh, the squeezy bit at the top here is quite large, you have quite a lot of control of the flow so you can just shoot out slowly or quite quickly. So drawing in water, you'll see you're able to shoot a pretty steady stream. So you have quite a lot of control. 
which is really handy for uh, target feeding coral. So whether you've got a tank about my size and you only need something about this long, or you've got a really big, really deep tank and you need something about this long, this is a really great and versatile option. Also, if you've got a predator tank, having the toothpick on the end of it for target feeding for carnivorous fish is a really great idea. Uh, I love that it's made out of plastics and not made out of glass, which would uh, always scare me when using something like this around a tank. And yeah, just in general, it's a, it's a really great idea and a really cool tool. I know for a fact that you can buy these for about $40, $45, something like that from uh, Reef Galleria in South Melbourne and I think also New Life Aquarium sells them too. I'm not sure about stockists around the rest of the country, honestly I just haven't checked, but uh, I'm sure there's a common supplier for these so I'm sure anyone can get them if they really want to. Just talk to your local fish store or go into one of the ones that I mentioned before uh, which definitely have these in stock. But yeah, that's all for today. I thought this was just a cool little gadget and I wanted to share it. So thanks for watching, quick video for today. If you found it helpful, just press the like and subscribe button, it really helps me out. Leave a comment down below if you've got any other cool gadgets that you'd like me to cover or you want to share with the community. My name is Marcus and you've been watching the Reef Nerd YouTube channel. Bye for now.